In this module, we will learn about bandwidth part BWP. This is the last module of this course on 5G new radio spectrum related aspects. So, what is bandwidth part? So, bandwidth part is a subset of contiguous common physical resource blocks. So let us understand, in LT, the bandwidth part was not supported. So all user equipments were required to support full carrier bandwidth. In 4G, the carrier bandwidth up to 20 megahertz was possible. So all user equipment have to support the entire 20 megahertz bandwidth. In 5G, uh, UE can support less than the carrier bandwidth. We know that in 5G, up to 400 megahertz channel bandwidth is possible. So, UE is not required to support the entire 400 megahertz band. It is possible for an UE to support a lesser band. And this, the lesser part is known as BWP or bandwidth part. So there can be multiple bandwidth part within the supported channel bandwidth by an UE. So each BWP or each bandwidth part can have its own numerology. That is, it may support different subcarrier spacing. 15 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, 60 kilohertz, and so on. So, up to release 16 of 5G, UE can be configured up to 4 bandwidth part. Maximum number of BWP possible is 4 in both direction each that is 4 in uplink and 4 in downlink. 4 BWP is also possible in supplementary uplink. But at a time only 1 BWP will be active in uplink and 1 in downlink. So at any moment of time there will be one BWP active in uplink direction and one BWP active in downlink direction. Now let us look at various use cases of bandwidth part. So the first use case is supporting reduced UE bandwidth capability. That means a user equipment not having support of the full bandwidth can also be designed. And this is important for IoT devices. The IoT devices has to be less complex, has to be energy efficient. So, and also has to be cheap. So such IoT devices having 5G chipset can be designed to support only a small bandwidth, small BWP. So it is for the reduced UV bandwidth capability. The second use case is for supporting reduced UV energy consumption. That means although a user equipment may be supporting a larger bandwidth, but at times when it is not using data, say only internet browsing is being done at that point of time, it may use a bandwidth part which is having the less channel bandwidth. In this example, there are two BWP, BWP1 and BWP2. So, BWP is kind of a subset of BWP1. So, when user equipment is not requiring much data, it will make BWP2 active and when it requires a 
larger chunk of data to be transmitted or received it may use the bwp1 the next use case is supporting different numerologies so in one bwp there can be numerology 1 and in other bwp there can be numerology 2 and this will be required because the component carrier can have different frequency bands and different frequency bands are better utilized with different numerologies. The next use case is supporting non-contiguous spectrum. So if there are non-contiguous spectrum, those can also be used having different PWP, right? So PWP1, PWP2 and there can be some left out frequency band or say BWP which is not known today can be used for any service in future and then the next use case is supporting forward compatibility so certain part of the frequency band is for something which is not yet defined which can be defined in future so forward compatibility is also one of the use case of bandwidth part. Let us see how bandwidth part is used in this picture. On this side it is time and on this side it is your carrier. All those your sub carriers or resource block. So this is your suppose your user equipment is not using data or it is using a very less data at that point of time it may activate a BWP1 which is less in size in terms of channel bandwidth and suppose it has to use more data then it will switch after some time it will switch to BW2, BWP2 becomes active so it switches from bwp1 to bwp2 and after some time you can again switch back to bwp1 so this is how bandwidth part is used by user equipment this way there is a energy saving the user equipment there is a energy saving because it is not utilizing the spectrum when not needed So thank you.